Okay, so how would you add these fractions? Well, assuming you know how to add fractions, you're probably looking at the denominators and you're saying, well, first thing is we have to get these numbers to be the same because you can't add fractions if the denominators are different. Well, that is absolutely true. So what we're gonna need here is the lowest common denominator. Well, that's not gonna be so easy to find because our denominators here are 323 and 27. So finding the LCD uh, with these denominators, again, is not going to be so easy, even if you have a calculator. Well, there is a completely different way to do this problem. Matter of fact, it is the fastest way to add these fractions. And the great thing about uh, this particular way is that it has nothing to do with finding the LCD. Okay, but uh, let's see how much you know about fractions anyway. So feel free to use a calculator and add these fractions. So the question is seven over three, 23, plus two over 27. And again, even with the assistance of a calculator, adding these uh, two fractions up is not uh, that uh, simple, but go ahead and put your answer, if you have one, into the comment section. I'll show you the correct answer in just one second. Then of course, we'll talk about what you have to do to find the LCD between these two fractions and why you might think, you know what, I'm not gonna do it this way. I wanna do it this way, uh, the way this guy on YouTube is going to teach me in just one second. All right, but uh, before I get to all of that, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you need help learning math, well, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. All right, so seven over three, 23 plus two over 27. So one thing that uh, I don't want you to do is to take seven divided by three, 23, get some sort of decimal, and then take two and divide it by 27 and get some sort of decimal and add those up. So that's not what we're talking about. I want your answer to be a fraction. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the right answer. The correct answer is 835 over 8721. This is um, the answer, of course, in a fraction form. Now, if you got this right, that is super impressive. Matter of fact, I have to give you a nice little happy face and A plus a 100% and multiple stars. You could brag to your friends and family that indeed you are a certified professional expert in the area of adding and subtracting fractions because um, how we add fractions is the exact same way uh, as how we subtract fractions. Now, how did you find this answer? Now, if, if you actually did the work and found the LCD, I think that's even more impressive, okay? So you're gonna really appreciate this shortcut here. And uh, let's go ahead and get into this right now. All right, so as I indicated, you cannot add or subtract fractions unless you have the same denominator. So uh, let's take a look at some simple examples here just to kind of review how to find the LCD. So most of you out there probably already know that, yes, I'm gonna to have to find the LCD. So let's take a look at uh, this uh, simple example, two-fifths plus one-third. What is the LCD right here? Well, most of you probably uh, might be saying, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, it's 15, and you would be correct, right? So 15 is the lowest number that both five and three can divide into. So how did you find that, right? Well, how did you actually calculate the LCD? Now, when you ask someone that, they, uh, you know, they kind of wonder, well, I don't know, I just know that uh, the LCD is 15. Well, the, a lot of people, again, don't really know how they uh, found the LCD. They just, they just know they have the LCD. And that's often the case because these numbers here are very easy, very simple. Let's take a look at this example, two fifths plus one over 30. Okay, what is the LCD here? Well, the LCD is 30. Okay, so we have five here and we have 30 here. So if you wanted to add these fractions, we'd have to make uh, each denominator into 30. And this is not too difficult, right? Because I would just multiply this by six right here and this by six. And of course we would have uh, 30, okay? As the denominator here, then we have 12 over 30. Now here, uh, I would have to do what? Well, you have to change each fraction uh, such that the denominator is 15. So you have to multiply this by five, this by five, this by three, this by three. So again, first things first, first we have to figure out uh, the LCD, then we have to rewrite these fractions. Sometimes you have to rewrite both, sometimes you have to rewrite one, 
Now, if we had the same denominator, we don't have to rewrite anything. But again, these are simple little denominators. Uh, but let's go ahead and talk about how you actually find the LCD. So here, we know the LCD is 30. Okay, it's the lowest number that both 5 and 30 go into. But the way you find the LCD involves, uh, an LCD is the lowest common denominator, involves factoring. We have to prime factor. So in this case, we need to prime factor both 5 and 30. Well, 5 is already uh, fully factored into its prime uh, form. 1 times 5 is 5. But here, 30 is not. So we would have to uh, factor 30 out. So 30 is the same thing as 3 times 10. 3 is prime. So 10 is not. So we're just making a little uh, factor tree here. So 10 is the same thing as 5 times 2. So here are all, all the prime factors, excuse me, of 30. Okay, so 30 is equal to 3 times 5 times 2. Now, the LCD is uh, basically, uh, again, you know, I'm kind of quickly reviewing this, but it has to represent or has to have all the prime factors of uh, both or, you know, if you have two denominators or three or four, it doesn't make a difference. Uh, basically, all the prime factors of the respective denominators. So we have a 5 here, okay, so that has to be in our uh, LCD as a factor. So we also have a 5 right here, okay? Our 30 has a 5 as a prime factor, but we need a 3, okay? That's a prime factor of 30, and we also need a 2. That's a prime factor of 30. So 3 times 5 times 2 is the LCD. Of course, this is 15 times 2 or 30. Okay, so if you're a little bit confused on how to find the LCD, well, this is basic arithmetic. A lot of people are, but you need to understand the process because if we want to find the LCD, of our problem, okay, kind of going back over here, uh, 7 over 3, 23, and 2 over 27, we have to prime factor each of these denominators, okay, and then we're going to have to go through the same process. So as I indicated in the beginning of this video, this is not going to be a fun process, uh, even if you have a calculator, right? So let's go ahead and take a look at 27 because uh, this is pretty straightforward. Most you can say, well, this is not too difficult to factor, and you would be right. So 27 we can factor as 9 times 3. 3 is prime, and then uh, 9 we could continue to factor, so that's 3 times 3 times 3. So 27 is 3 times 3 times 3. That's all the prime factors, or 3 cubed. Okay, no big deal there on 27, but uh, 323 is a whole different ball game. Now you can see here, I'm already showing you the factors, okay? We have two prime numbers uh, as the factors, 17 and 19, okay? Now, how would you get to those factors? Well, let's suppose you had a calculator. You might say, all right, well, if, if you don't know any divisibility rules, you can just start taking 323, maybe divided by three. Well, that's not gonna work. Divided by four, divided by five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's, you know, you're, you're, you might get to a point where you're like, well, 323 cannot be factored. Well, it can be factored. It's just going to take a lot of work. Eventually, you will have kind of discovered, if you keep you know, trying enough numbers, that 17 goes into 323 19 times, or 323 divided by 19 is 17. So again, when it comes to big denominators like the ones that we're dealing with right here, it may not be so easy to find the prime factors. Now, uh, once we do have the prime factors, now we can build the LCD. So let's go ahead and build the LCD uh, to this problem. So the LCD is going to be uh, the uh, product of all the individual prime factors. So we need a 17, okay, we need this 19, and then we need 3 cubed, right, which of course is 27. So 17 times 19 times 27 is going to be the actual lowest common denominator, which is 8721. Okay, so that is the denominator. Then we'd have to actually go back and change each individual fraction here in our problem uh, such that it has that LCD and then finally add this up. So this is a good amount of work, again, even with a calculator. But uh, uh, as I indicated, there is another option to take because, you know, when you get experience with, in math, especially dealing with fractions, you know, you look at these denominators, you're like, oh boy, you know, I don't know if I want to, you know, find the LCD. That looks like a lot of work and I don't blame you. So let's go ahead and take a look, take a look at this other technique. This is an absolute must know. Uh, this is probably uh, my all-time favorite little shortcut technique in all of mathematics. 
<laughs> and I I do a lot of uh, different YouTube videos to kind of uh, teach this technique. So this is something that you absolutely must know. And if you've never seen this before, well, this is going to be your lucky day because it's going to make your work with fractions so much easier. All right, so let's take a look at this simple example. I'm going to show you this technique, and then we're going to apply this technique on our actual problem. Okay, so here we have two-fifths plus one-third. Now, uh, typically, you would say, all right, well, the LCD is 15, so I'm going to multiply this by 5, and this by 5, and this by 3, and this by 3. Again, we could do that, uh, and it's not too difficult because this problem is pretty easy, but we're not going to do uh, this problem in this manner. We're going to use something called the bow tie technique. So the bow, uh, bow tie technique follows this little pattern of a bow tie, like so. So basically, you want to be thinking in this, this way, this way, and this way. Now, if you kind of see this, it kind of looks like a bow tie. And this is a very specific pattern, okay? So step one is going to be in this direction, and I'll show you this in a second. Step two, so this is our first step. And if you don't do this problem in this exact order, you can make errors, all right? So step one is this way, step two is this way, and step three is in this direction, okay? So just remember this way, one, or remember this pattern, and you will have this technique down. One, two, three. Okay, so let's go ahead and apply the bow tie uh, technique right now. Okay, so step one is we're going to go in this direction. What we're doing is we're taking this denominator, we're going to multiply by that numerator. So three times two, you're just going in a cross-wise uh, 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 cross wise manner. So three times two is what? It's six. We're going to be building our numerator here. Okay. All right. So that's step one this way, right? So that's the first step. Step two is you're going to do the same thing, but in the opposite direction. So this is going to be five times one. Five times one is five. Now, because this is an addition problem, we're going to be adding and our first little, uh, little crosses here are building our numerator. Okay. So again, three times two, we start this way. That's six, five times one plus five times one is five. This is our numerator. Then we're gonna put a line, our fraction bar, and then we're going to go across. Five times three is 15. Now let's do this math. Six plus five is 11. 11 over 15, that is the answer, okay? This is the answer that you would have uh, come up with if we change the uh, denominator here to the LCD. So we would have been like, all right, let me see. This will be that by five. This I have to multiply by three. So I would have six over 15 plus five over 15. Now I have the same denominator, add the numerator, 11 over 15, okay? So instead of doing all that work, we just simply follow this bow tie method and we got the right answer. All right, so this is the method that we're going to use to add these um, this original problem up. But there's only one drawback to this particular technique is that sometimes you do not have the lowest common denominator as your final answer, so you may have to reduce. Okay, so that's the only drawback because I don't want you to learn this technique and be like, oh boy, I'm not going to ever add fractions using the LCD. You need to know how to find the LCD. It's very critical, especially in algebra. So, so don't forget this, but this is a great shortcut and you absolutely want to know this uh, in algebra as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and take the next step and apply this technique. But before we do this, why don't you apply your uh, uh, little button there or hit that button and um, apply pressure so you can hit that subscribe button. That's kind of what I wanted to say. And if you're going to subscribe, hit that notification bell as well. I definitely need your support. I love uh, teaching math. I love putting uh, together these videos. And, uh, you know, I really want to uh, help people. Uh, you know, make math just as easy as possible. Now, you can only get uh, to, you know, math can only be, um, it's never going to be so, so easy. Or right? even for all, there's just too much to learn. You can't say, hey, can you teach me calculus really easy? Uh, yes, you know, it doesn't work that way. There is a ton of information. So those of you out there that might be saying, uh, you know, there are people out there that, you know, everything comes so easy to them. Well, you know, don't, that, that's, that may be true. There's people out there that certainly have aptitude and talents in certain subjects, but they still have to work hard to learn the information. Okay. So don't, you know, never look at somebody and say, oh, wow, they're, you know, everything comes easy to them in terms of math. Well, no, they still have to work and study hard as well because there's, there's just too much information to know. So don't get discouraged. Just make sure you're working hard, but better yet, 
make sure you're working hard under the right instruction. Okay, so hopefully you have a great teacher. But if you need assistance in mathematics, check out my full main math courses. You can find a link to those in the description below. And I also have a ton of content on my YouTube channel that can help you out. Okay, so let's go, to, uh, uh, go ahead and apply this bow tie technique to uh, answer this question. So, you know, looking at this problem, right, originally, uh, if, let's assume that you do know this bow tie method and you know how to find the LCD, you could very well have been like, well, boy, I do not want to find the LCD here. I just know that's probably not going to be that much uh, fun. So I'm just going to go right into the bow tie technique. And uh, I think that would be a smart move. That would be the fastest way to do this problem. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and just take 27 multiplied by 2. Remember, this is the steps. Step 1, it's got to be in this order because when you are dealing with a subtraction problem, okay, you can see that this is going to be our second value. Okay, you don't want this to be our first value. So this is uh, really important when it comes to subtracting uh, fractions. So again, the bow tie technique works with, with both adding and subtracting fractions, numeric fractions, and algebraic fractions as well. It's an, it's, it's an absolute must-know um, uh, shortcut in all of math. Okay, so let's go ahead and apply it right now. So 27... Uh, 27 times 7, again, use your calculator, no big deal. 27 times 7, 189. Plus, this is, we're building our numerator out, 323 times 2, that is 646. Over our denominator, 323 times 27, which is 8721. So now, this 8721, this is the same denominator that we had when we were finding the LCD. So now, just simply add those uh, numbers in the numerator. We got 835 over 8721, it's as simple as that. So um, in this particular case, we kind of lucked out because the denominator is in fact the lowest common denominator. But again, even if I was doing this problem myself, I would just go ahead and use the bow tie technique, get my answer, and then double, triple check that it's fully reduced or try to simplify it from there. Um, but it, you know, you know, I don't want to diminish the importance of finding the lowest common denominator. That is an absolute must know. But, you know, when you're looking at fraction problems, okay, you know, make your life as easy as possible. Of course, you can see with the bow tie technique, it's uh, very easy in terms of the number of calculations. I'm just going to multiply here, multiply there, multiply there. Uh, so far less room for error, okay? But what you never want to do when it comes to adding fractions, uh, for the most part, is divide the numerator by the denominator and get some sort of decimal value and then go, oh, uh, I'll take this and divide by that and get some sort of decimal value and then add these decimals because nine times out of 10, you're going to be rounding off. So you're not going to get a full exact solution. Okay, so if you need more help with fractions or anything basic math, I have a fantastic course for you. It's called my Math Foundations course. It's a little math uh, mini review of all basic mathematics, things that most of us forgot, uh, place value, percent, fractions, decimals, all that kind of good stuff. So you can check that out. That'll be in the description. Also, if you are not a math student and you want to relearn math for me uh, to include basic math, check out my Math Skills Rebuilder course. I start with basic math, get into algebra, geometry, and some basic trigonometry and probability and statistics. Okay, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.